goodness, the light that this camera just suddenly puts on you is amazing. Look, Thank it was know. completely dark, and then, yeah. What are you doing, blowing your nose? Yeah. Lol. Hello. Um, so, I don't know if you can tell, but I am at Anna's student house. Um, I've come up for the weekend and I'm super excited. It's Saturday morning, it's like 8 o'clock. So we got up at like 7, had showers, and we're planning on um, going to London today and like having a little mooch about, getting some food, doing some shopping. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to vlog it because I'm just in a really excitable mood. Um, last night, I, got, I came straight from work. Um, so that was knackering. Got here like half seven. We went straight to the Happy Man because what else should you do when you're in Egham? You go straight to the Happy Man. Um, we had dinner, didn't we? We did. I said hi to some of my Happy Man people that I dearly, dearly miss. Um, and we, well, Anna's working tonight. She couldn't get tonight off. But also, like, I think they're going to let me work behind the bar also. I said I'd love, so you don't pay me. Like, you don't need to pay me. Um... But yeah, I thought that would be fun if I could too, because there's like a load of people that I probably want to say hi to. Like it's quite fun, and also what else am I going to do while Anna's working for six hours? Like she's doing six till midnight, so you know I don't really want to be ditched for that long. So I asked, and they well Anna asked, and then I asked last night again, and they were like, yeah, that's fine. So hopefully that will be fine. Um, but yeah, this is honestly shocking. This camera, like. When I put the camera on before I pressed record, it was I was like really dark, you couldn't see me, and now I've been flooded with light. Also, I've had such a situation with um wow, this is quite a lot of orangeness. I have quite a lot of thick tan on my body, I don't know if you can tell, so I'm just trying to match. Um I had such problemos with trying to get the other vlog up, um, it's still not up. I've had to basically get another final cut it's just not working um i edited it and it all failed and it's honestly just taken me so long to try and sort out so that's been wow i'm orange um i am feeling i'm orange can you see how orange i am you are orange oh dear it's okay we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work um I'm just going to have to put some pale concealer on the next but I hope it. I don't think I'm going to need some bronzer somehow. You know? Um, Ween is here. You want to say hi? Hello. Her room is pretty great. She's put some cactus thing up there <laughs> and all pictures. And um, that's all my crap on the bed there. But no, you've done well in here. And her student house is super clean. So, you know, well done for that. Can't be having my relations being skanky, skanky students. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna put my makeup on and then I'll show you what we're wearing and continue. We're ready now, and we are just having Anna's provided us some cereal. So we're eating that, with some lovely Jordans. Um, Anna's basically living an exciting life right now, aren't you? You're a super busy girl. Hang on, put that back on I'm the little thing so and then we can talk. On where? On the little pink thingy. And you might want to click the screen because the focus is really bad. Is it focusing? I think so. Mm. There we go. Yeah, so tell them about your rowing team. Yeah, so basically, I joined the rowing team at uni and it's the best thing ever. You literally rows mm. all day, every day. I love it. You just don't come back to see us anymore because we're on a rowing boat. And I'm super jealous because I don't know if I told the vlog that I tried to join a team at home and there was no space. <coughs> so, you know. Do I look weird sitting here? I feel like my outfit's super crinkled up. I have a Burberry jumper. So that's fun. And some new leather trousers. Trap 
in the motions, I can feel her breathing. She told me. I'm just in the Nike shop and we're gonna pull out that yellow fleece you can see. So nice. I do like that. Pull out the grey tracks. I've never seen this like brand thing. No. I'm really enjoying these sofa situations in here. Are you? You're gonna get that black thing. I kind of prefer the other one. The expensive one. <laughs> well, I was potentially gonna get that. So we've been shopping all morning, although we're not having the most successful time ever, are we? No. No, not really. So we're going to go find some lunch. We're just getting the tube to Covent Garden. But um, yeah, I bought one dress, which is that one I just showed you in the changing rooms. But yeah. And then we went to go look to go have lunch in the Pollen Street Social and we decided that we didn't look fancy enough to go in. So. Sad times. Wow, that is such an angle. Great at this. So Anna and I are in Spaghetti House. We're about to have some spaghetti for lunch. <laughs> we're super excited. And um, it's kind of stopped raining now, so we can actually look about a bit more. But yeah, we're not having too much luck with our shopping, are we? No, it's annoying. Still, we're in Covent Garden now, and then we're going to go to Arquette. And then I want to get a picture of my outfit because I like it. But yeah, I'll show you in here, it's quite cute. I don't like the lighting on this camera at all. Oh yeah. So we're in Arquette and I'm just trying on a couple bits. Look at this like bib thing. I don't quite understand it. To be honest, where do I tie this? I think, you know I mean? yeah, just tie it up underneath your arm. Really? Yeah. What do you feel about it? I like it, it's unusual. It is quite, isn't it? I just I tried on this skirt. I put it like right up. And it fits really good. So I'm contemplating buying that. Oh, £70 of it. Also, you know, you've got no neck. <laughs> Do you like my leather trousers? Obviously. <coughs> Not wearing the face. So nice, That's right? Cool. Then I've got this new bodysuit situation. And then a new beverage jumper, which I don't know, I think that you must have seen that earlier, but yeah. I'm gonna try this on now. What, the jacket? The pink. Why does it jump up so much the noisy sun now? What other shops are we going in? Do we have more to go in? Mm. I really wanna buy this, I'm not gonna lie. If I can wear it as a dress, I'm gonna make it work as a dress. I don't know if it's too like not smart for work though, but like my really nice black boots. It's extra small as well, my hair point now. Yeah, I said it looked big on the hair. It's just that's too much. Is that too much? Yeah, it's a bit too big I think. Even done up that's like what is this? Mmm. Bit weird. It's cool though. It's very cool. If it were more like a shacket and not a haggard cloak. <laughs> Then I would go for it. I like the hangers, the hangers, you know, the yeah. screen quality to me. Okay, well, what's our We have some there? decisions to make. Yeah, we do. You want to see this brown thing, to be honest. Um, sensibility. It is a possibility. Okay, so we've returned from London now. And Anna didn't buy anything, but she has packages waiting for her. And we're also going to do a big try on of some dresses that she's she's bought like ten dresses from Pretty mm -hmm. Little Thing for a Christmas do. So we're going to try them on. I don't know if we have time now. Do you think we have time now? What's the time? No idea. Um. Oh, Marcia from work just from requested me. She's like seventeen. I love her. Time. It's ten to five. Okay. Do you do, when do you leave for work? Not until like. 22? 22, yeah. yeah. I just knew. Um, so Wien's bought these things. I think they're pretty cute. Give everybody a good... This light is just I shocking. Know, so yellowy. Got this Obey like, fleece thing. It's really cute. It's kind of like a... I don't know. What would you call that? 
material. It's like fleecy here. That is like, um, that's like pure nylon, isn't it? That's the one. And then these cute, like, are they IX Franz or not? Trackies. Yeah, but you can't really see it. Oh yeah, that's good. So I don't know why Urban Outfits insist on, insist on writing IX Franz on flipping everything. Like, stop. I love how you're saying it. IX Franz. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's obviously not said like that, but it looks like that, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, should we I'm... do the dresses? Okay, so here we are. <laughs> We've got like 600 dresses on the floor. Um, I have this purple one. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see because... Anna's got them all in a size 4, so, I mean, not necessarily a size 4, to be honest. But this one appears to fit. Show yours, Finley. I like this one a lot. I really yeah, like that cute. on you. With heels. Oh, yeah, that's... Hang on. I feel like it's a bit different. Like, yeah, def I really like that on you, in fact. What do we think? I'm making you look a little lumpy bumpy. Hang on, film this because I'll show this back to mum and she can evaluate the dress situations. Just do like an up and down bit. Shall I wiggle for you? No. Else and this is mine. It doesn't look that great on camera, but it looks nice. That looks In so life. nice for me. How much was that one? I think this was the most expensive one. I think it was 50 and then I got 20% off. I really like that one. I think you should wear that one. I'm going to put on heels with it to show you. Okay. Wow, look at the dress carnage. Wow, look at me and my socks. That's pure beauty, that is. This is the next one for Anna. More green. A green one. It does look nice on you, babes. I don't know if it's a bit, like, boring, though. Do you know what I mean? I don't think it's boring. I think it's quite sophisticated. Do you know what I mean? Am I sophisticated? No. Hang on, I'll get in there. Hmm. It does fit. Oh, you hold it, mate. Doesn't it? It does fit good. They're all fitting us. I need to come on side because otherwise the light's weird. I'm not a fan of like midi dresses. Yeah, you never wear a midi dress. No. Just because it's so restrictive when you walk, but I think this one quite... isn't because it's got the slit and it's like yeah, I think it fits quite good. Do you think? Mm -hmm. Also, it's like I don't know if it's you can me. see on here, but it's like stripey. Yeah, you can see. And it's got some sort of. It's I a think completely it's different green in real life to what it looks like online. Oh really? Yeah. I don't know why shops are obsessed with accentuating here. I'm like, just a little boobies a... alone. Well, other people have boobies. Other people enjoy <laughs> boobies, but I don't. So I'll end the vlog here for today. We're just going to the pub. We've got our jeans and trainers and suitable pub outfits on. Um, and yeah, I'll vlog in the morning. Goodbye. Bye. Good morning. So I've decided to continue the vlog into the week. Um, I'm quite casual for work today. Um, I'm just about to go in because my bosses are both in London today. So I'm wearing jeans and a jumper and boots. I've got this, um, I don't know if I said I've got a... Um, I got this cream Uniqlo jumper in a charity shop and it's just like pretty great to be honest. I got it for like four pounds. Um, and I also got a really nice black um, top from from Bernardo's as well, which was like, I think the same price. Um, and I wore that on Friday with my leather trousers that I wore at the weekend and it looks so nice. Um, but yeah, I think I've forgotten to show you that. I also had my nails done last week and I forgot to say. So here are my nails, looking all, this colour's called Suntan, um, and my nails are for once looking quite like healthy, which I'm pleased about. But you know, minimal makeup today, I've literally got on, well I've not got anything on my face, I've got, I flicked up my eyebrows and I put some lipstick on. So I'm super pale, um, I have circuits tonight as well with um, my new friend. So yeah, gonna go do that. I um, went to the gym last night, which was very good of me. It's Tuesday today, um, so I didn't vlog Monday. Or Sunday, did I? No, because I just literally drove home after London. Um, so, yeah, my battery is now flashing red, and I was supposed to be vlogging a bit of me at work today. But we'll see what we can do. Hello. So, um, I didn't get to vlog that day when I just did the little clip then, because the camera ran out of battery. Um, so I'm just going to talk to you now while my car decides to defrost and like 
been quite a heavy, a heavy frost. It's freezing. Um, and I am in the depths of being the lone secretary at work and really, really not enjoying it. Um, I've got, I think, four days left now until the other secretary comes back from Australia. And I can't wait because I honestly feel like I've driven, been driven around the bend and I'm pretty much like at the end of my tether with it. I have so much work to do every day. I just feel like I'm dying and I'm like, what are you doing with your life? Um, so yeah, I'm not the happiest chicken in the world, to be honest. Um, I can't even be bothered to go and get the scraper out to defrost the windscreen, so I'm just literally waiting for it to just magically disappear. Um, I have to go and buy flowers this morning for someone's birthday at work. Like, it's all the extra errands, I find, that really get me. Like, I'm just like, I just, just leave me, just leave me alone. Like, I spend all the time going out and doing little chores for them, like collecting things and... I feel like sometimes what they ask me to do, I'm a semi-slave, not secretary. Um, yeah, and as I mentioned, like, there's a couple of difficult characters to be dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, so yeah. Um, other than that, I've been going to circuits. It's been three weeks in a row, which is good, with my new friend Fran, she's so cute. And we're doing park run on Saturday morning together, and then we're gonna go get coffee after. Um, honestly, if this doesn't hurry up, I'm going to be late. Although it doesn't matter if I'm late because I'm getting flowers. Um, so I'm technically allowed to take my own time to do that. Um, not my own time, like work time to do that. Um, but yeah, I was going to put this on the side up there, but the reflection off of the ice on the window really was blowing me out. So yeah. Also, Anna hasn't been home in ages. So, missing her. Um, although I saw her the other week, didn't I, when I went up? But yeah. Um, I will continue to fill you in on my journey I think. So Waitrose mission complete. I have a bunch of quite nice flowers. These are the most expensive ones. They're not really my kind of colours but why am I washed out? Got some autumnal bouquet situation thing and I also because it's completely necessary got myself some Waitrose mince pies because it is the time of year for the mince pie trials to commence again and I haven't had Waitrose ones I don't believe so and these were like their really fancy ones and they were half price so I was like well there we go hi so I'm home from work now I've been home for about an hour and a half oh no not that long an hour um I've had my dinner a nice stir fry um I'm just gonna choose to laugh about my day at work today because it was literally so ridiculous at moments that I just I couldn't even cope like my little my little soul was just like oh just overwhelmed by idiotic comments I just oh. it's just on I have so many thoughts I want to tell the camera and I always think about it late um in bed at night my hair's really weird because it's been in a big clip all day so it's like super curly slash frizzy and I've, I'm gonna go to the gym in a bit but um yes so i'm really very yellow aren't i um yeah i have all these thoughts about great things i can say to the vlog about how i'm feeling that really encompasses what i feel and then i'm just like i get to the end of the day i'm like Bleh. like i just can't even like string a sentence together i really can't it's i feel like the pressure sometimes of me having to be so organized with dates, times, names of people that I'm not really that familiar with a lot of the time. It's, I feel like I'm going to develop a Twitch at some point. Develop a big old Twitch and I'm gonna be there like every two seconds because I'm just like, oh my God. Like every day I sit down at nine o'clock and I do not stop until five. Like, I mean, at the moment I'm quite adamant that I should have a lunch break because I need it. But a couple of times this week I didn't. Um, but it's just honestly like, and my boss is just like, if we're going to get on well together, I need you to be like this. And I'm like, I'm literally do not see that I'm trying. The like, first thing he said to me yesterday when I turned up at work was, Isabella, you need to clean the milk frother. I was like, okay. And I'd just been out, bought all this food for their stupid lunch presentation. And I was just like, you know, we were just like, oh, it's like half nine. And you're just killing my soul already. 
just like everything like you need to be more careful with this why haven't you done like this i booked a meeting and he had a my boss had a like a breakfast thing at 7 30 next week um and he i had to arrange a meeting with the council later that day so the guy came back to me saying he could do 11.30. So I said to him, I was like, right, I put it in the diary for 11.30. Like, got all the details sorted out so that the client could come. Why would you put it in at 11.30? What if my breakfast overruns? And I was like, um... He was like, the breakfast is in Southampton. I was like, Southampton's really not that far away. And if you're having breakfast at half past seven, it's quite early, babe. And I was like, well, I didn't say this because he... You don't, you can't say anything to this person. Like, it's just not worth it. I just nod. Yes, yes, okay, I will do this. Um, yeah, so what if anything overrun is the argument for that? Anything could overrun. So does that mean I could never book anything in the diary? Like, it's just honestly, like... It's quite stressful. It's really quite stressful. But yeah, anyway, on another note, I've been watching... Um, I watched Flair's first gift guide thing it was like a women's gift guide and i commented on the, on the video because i just could not prevent myself from commenting and um, because her gift guide was just a little it was just pitched at the wrong level i think like she just picked a load of gifts number one they're all a load of rubbish and they were all so expensive and she got a lot of jip in the comments from people saying like why would you pick all these gifts like they're not what people want and um, no one can afford this like you're unrelatable all this and i just commented like a a bit sarky because I am a bit sarky. Um, I just put um, she put these Liberties pajamas in it, and they were like two hundred and something pounds. And she hadn't addressed any of the comments at all in the video, and it was like two days after she posted it. So I just put um, Fleur's just sitting back in her Liberties pajamas, ignoring all the comments. Lol, and it got like a load of thumbs up, and I was just thought it was quite funny because it's like yeah, like honestly, you're making so much money out of this. Think, think a little bit, even like engage with the audience. Like, do you know what I mean? It's just rude. Um, and she's done this big Instagram story now saying that she's re she really apologised, that she's really hurt by all the comments. And it's like, she didn't, she wasn't coming from a bad place, obviously, her little gift guide, was it? But it's just, honestly, like, sometimes you've got to check yourself. If there's not people like her, like, you know, they don't buy Chanel handbags every month. You just have to, I don't know, there's just very little left in the YouTube world that is relevant to normaltons. Like, it's just not. Um, like a place for normal life anymore so yeah that's my my thoughts look who we have here look look who do we have oh look it's Nelly New it's Nelly New are you gonna brown the brooch Nelly gives me the best welcome home. Wait, no, 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 no. You sit down for a moment and talk to the vlog. That's it. Nelly gives me the best welcome home in the whole world. In the whole world, yeah. And it makes it worth being shouted at all day, doesn't it, Nelly? No, Nelly, please. Just going to bed, look. She's that. see you later. Yeah, I've got my gym stuff on. I've got my sports bra underneath here because it's so cold. I'm going to put on my big coat. Well, hello there. It is Saturday afternoon. Um, I think I'm just going to vlog like this afternoon, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to include... I filmed a couple of random clips this week. But I've gotten so annoyed with the camera because I've <laughs> just figured out I've had it on like a really obvious wrong setting. Um, where it was just like... I look like a normal colour right now. Like I'm not all blown out. Um, and the other clips I'm like got a shiny whiteness to me i mean i'm pretty white anyway but um yes this morning i've had such a nice morning i went to do park run um in pool park and um, with my friend fran um and then we went for coffee at a place called um let's hold this up a bit a place called south coast roast um which was so nice and it's always nice to get recommendations for new places from people i've heard of south coast, coast roast but like where I've not lived in Bournemouth as an adult really until now um, or really discovered m much new stuff in the last few years here um, it's really nice to just go to different places so yeah it was just so aesthetically pleasing I'm going to take mum there at some point she'll enjoy it and um, now I'm literally sitting here watching Sophia and Chinzia 
um who I really in I really enjoy their vlogs um sometimes they make silly comments I think and I think oh that's a shame like why do you that's really obvious like why don't you know that but they're really nice girls and they're doing really well for themselves aren't they so I quite enjoy watching their vlogs they're just light-hearted and nice um yeah no I look knackered because I am I really am like this week was such a testing week it really um it was just a lot of being told you're doing things wrong or I honestly just can't even be able to talk about it to be honest like it's just not my life is not quite where I want it to be right now so that's that last night I went into Westbourne because it's right by where I work and I got my nails done um I just went for like is that focusing so difficult to tell um I just got like a wine burgundy sort of colour um I really enjoy having my nails done it just makes me feel a little bit more prepared and complete so yeah um I spilt chocolate milkshake all over my bedding this morning so my duvet is currently in the washing machine because I'm so coordinated I really truly am um I think I'm gonna spend this afternoon reading um I'm actually reading a really <laughs> I'm finding the book hilarious but I don't think I'm supposed to be and I feel a bit like oops but um I bought a couple new books last weekend um I'm reading Elef Elfa? Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine and um, it's by Gail Honeyman and I just the girl's obviously she's deeply troubled um I think she's probably maybe got Asperger's or something um but it's really it's a really like funny entertaining book to follow just like her um take on the world is really like i don't know sometimes it's like what you're what you you're thinking as well about things but you i don't know i don't know how to put it like it's what you secretly think about things and she's not socially aware enough not to say them do you know what i mean but yeah no um yeah really enjoying that and then i've got to read after that i've got the hunting party um it was buy one get one half price in waterstones last week and i was in there for ages trying to pick a book and the nice man came over and um suggested this one to me because i just couldn't like, i don't feel like the waterstones here is very good doesn't have what i'm looking for in it quite often i'm looking for books i've heard about or whatever um but i picked up this one i know sunbeam just has read it and she reads a lot of books um and then he said that this one was quite good it looks they look i mean they're easy reads is the impression i get i could probably do something slightly more challenging but yeah no i've read half of this one already and i can probably finish it in the next few days if i um commit a few hours to it but yeah um i feel like i had something to show you but maybe i don't i'm really disappointed i couldn't have vlogged this morning it would have made a really nice um gentle few clips of the vlog whereas at the moment it's just me sitting and chatting because I'm a little bit mundane i've decided that after christmas um i have to start making some decisions about what i want to be doing with my life like what my next step is um yeah potentially looking for more or different work um yeah i've got a lot to think about i think um so yeah Hello, um, so it's a little bit later on now, it's five o'clock, um, I think we're going to get some Chinese, some Chinese. Also, look at this dog right now, okay? So, Nellie's not allowed to sit on this step anymore, this is why the linen basket is on this step, because she just sits there and barks at everything, everyone, at 24-7, literally. So we put this object here, and there was also other things here to try and block her, but Nellie, do you just sit there anyway? She just keeps moving it so that she can she can sit there. Like she was laying like 
behind it earlier on. But it's her little viewpoint of her kingdom, isn't it, Squidgely? Piggy, Nelly, Nelly Pig. She's ignoring me quite a lot, isn't she? But yeah, no, I think we're getting a Chinese. We've got a very weird selection of takeaway foods here, which I've just sort of thrown on my plate. <laughs> Mum's got an OAP fish and chips. We got some sweets. We went and got all the wrong stuff in the Chinese. They gave us the wrong stuff. But yeah, these things are weird. What's in them? No, don't look particularly appetising though, do they really? I am just at work and I thought I would time lapse us doing the Christmas tree. Here I am. And here is part of the tree. We've kind of done it now, but enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> 